Hello, my name is Sanjana Hattatua. I'm speaking from my home in Ratmalana in around Colombo, Sri Lanka. I was supposed to be there, but on account of inescapable logistical problems, I couldn't be MC and I can't be there with you in person, for which I'm very sorry. Uh, it's the first ICCM that I will not be present in person. I was, uh, I've been part of uh, ICCMs uh, for many years and was co-curator and co-host with the ICT for Peace Foundation of the uh, ICCM that was held in Geneva in 2011. The foundation, I'm also speaking on behalf of Daniel Stauffacher, the chairperson of the ICT for Peace Foundation, has supported ICCM for many iterations in many uh, of its uh, locations that it has held the conference over the past couple of years. In fact, this year, a chief concern was whether the conference in Manila could go ahead at all. And the foundation, and Daniel and I in particular, wanted very much it to go ahead, which is why we have supported it to the extent that we have, uh, likewise in past years as well, including with the support of ICCM fellows. Why do I think this year is important? I think it's, well, particularly proud uh, a moment because as Asians, I think we have the resilience, we have the technical capacity and the know-how, the experience uh, and the people uh, in our own region, in our own countries. And we don't always need to look to elsewhere, to the West or to tech companies in Silicon Valley all the time uh, to get the kind of input that we need to know uh, to, to, to solve the problems that we know how to do ourselves. And that knowledge is not necessarily in Manila or in Colombo or in English-speaking strata of society. It's there at the heart of communities. As we know, the communities help themselves the, the, the best and way before even the state gets its act together in the Philippines uh, as well as in Sri Lanka. But I think one key difference and why it's important that it's been held in the Philippines is because the Philippines is, for many of us in Asia, a leading light in how technology can be used in disaster resilience, response, and recovery. We look to the Philippines. We look at what the country is doing. And then we learn as to how to use the likes of Twitter or Facebook or uh, many other technologies that helps communities at their level deal with disasters better. I am interested in sustainability, in the applicability of technologies, in the buy-in of communities of technologies that may not have come from their own people uh, from outside. I am concerned that often we think about technologies as things that you can immediately set in place, no matter which community or which part of the world you're talking about. And I think that's of concern, as we know, and I think as many of you know, and you have gathered around ICCM in Manila, is to discuss how these technologies can really make a difference at the community level. Not really at, 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 in, in Manila, at, at maybe even ICCM, but maybe many of you have stories about how communities themselves have different perspectives and different perceptions of technologies, and their adoption and their adaptation really needs to occur with a sensitivity to how the community itself sees these technologies. And finally, may I say that these are not new concerns for me. I've been interested and involved in a lot of the discussions at a global, regional, and local level uh, since the Asian tsunami of, 2000, of Boxing Day 2004, uh, when some of the first response mechanisms online at the time in Sri Lanka were created by me and a network of others who uh, were interested in supporting the communities deal with the disaster as best they could. Of course, that was a different world. Today, you have so many new technologies, emerging technologies, established technologies, and I hope that some of these things will be discussed in the sessions that you have ahead. I am very, very sorry that I can't be there with you. Uh, as Jen and the other organizers know, I've been a fairly vocal supporter of ICCM. And on behalf of the foundation, the foundation is very, very circumspect about the initiatives it supports. We are a small foundation based in Geneva, uh, even though I'm in Sri Lanka, and we only support the activities and the initiatives of individuals uh, and workshops and conferences like ICCM that we know do two things. One, it brings together a global uh, pool of experts who are really focused on the issues that matter 
And two, as a consequence of the conference or workshop, there is some difference and impact to the lives of the communities the conference is focused and anchored to and maybe is also located around. So I wish you all the very best. I am very, very sorry I can't be there. I really want to come to Manila and the Philippines someday. Uh, and I hope that you have fruitful discussions uh, in the sessions today. Uh, and I hope that these discussions continue way beyond ICCM. Good luck and have a good time. Bye.